Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Sunday reset routine. This week is going to be a little chaotic because it's the last week of school before the kids are out for Christmas vacation. In this video, I'm going to be getting teacher gifts together, some classroom goodies together. I'm doing some tidying up and some laundry. So let's get started. So a lot of times on Sundays, I like to wash bedding so we can just start off the new week in fresh, clean bedding. But today I'm only going to be doing our bed because I did wash the kids bedding a couple days ago. So those are still pretty clean. I'm taking all of my sheets and pillowcases and my duvet, which are all white. And I like my sheets to have a long lasting fresh clean scent to it so I always add scent beads and I love the Tide with OxyClean in there that really makes everything smell 10 times better for a longer period of time and I also add just a little bit of bleach. So for the most part, I do like to put something in the washing machine before I start my cleaning process or tidying up around the house. So right now I'm just putting things on the steps that need to go upstairs, putting shoes away in the shoe closet. And then I'm just gonna finish loading the dishwasher and get that started. And then whatever else doesn't fit in the dishwasher or that needs to be hand washed, I'm gonna go ahead and tackle that as well. Working every day, I'm stressed out 24 7, babe. No, no timeouts. Wish we could fly away. You and I go to our favorite place. Oh, yeah, yeah. I almost always spray Lysol in my sink before I start running water for dishes just because there could be bacteria in there. Dirty dishes have been sitting in the sink for a while. So I try to remember to spray some Lysol in there, let it sit for a couple minutes while I'm doing something else. One of our staple cleaning products is the Windex with vinegar because not only does it clean my countertops and you can pretty much spray it anywhere, but it leaves my countertops super shiny. It's not streaky at all. You can definitely smell the vinegar once you spray it. It doesn't linger, which is good. So if you haven't tried this one, you need to go get it. To put my mind at So I love trying out new products and I've tried so many different types of dish soap but I always go back to Dawn antibacterial just because it's a little bit thicker than others and it's antibacterial. It's definitely going to kill those germs and all that bacteria. Like I said, I love trying out new things and I'll probably continue to try new dish soaps and cleaning products, especially if they are going to kill germs.
Now I'm gonna be gathering some food for a local food drive in our area. And you all know how food drives work. Everything has to be non-perishable and unopened. So I'm just gonna grab as many things as I can that I know I probably won't get around to using or things that the kids just don't like or aren't eating. And just try to add as many things as I can. I recently got rid of some things before I got this bag, but I'm still gonna try to fill it up as best as I can. They also said that they are taking candy, so I'm adding a big bag of candy in here as well. I wanted to show you guys my trinket dish that I just got in the mail from Anthropology. I've been eyeing this for a while and I'm obsessed with it. It's definitely my style. It's a really pretty um, like ceramic pot with a woven handle. This is the large size and just for reference I'm gonna put a couple of remotes in here so you can see how large it is. So here it is with a couple remotes and a coaster and there's way more space for more stuff if I needed to put more stuff or remotes in here. Now I'm eyeing the smaller size. That one comes in white so if you guys want to check it out I'll have it linked down below. Moving on to the boys' room, I am coming in here to tidy up. I like to do this every now and then so I can come in here and vacuum. They clean up their room the majority of the time. Everything has a place. I do like to come in here um, when I need to vacuum and just to kind of reset their room. Their bedding is clean, so I'm not gonna be washing any of that today. So I'm just gonna tidy up in here and then we're gonna move on. So one thing we do before Christmas is we go through their books, their toys and games, and we pick out things that they are not playing with, they're not interested in, and we do it together so that they have a say on what we're getting rid of. This little cubby hole here is all the books that they picked out um, that they're not interested in and they're willing to donate. So I'm just going through them one more time just to make sure no books slipped in there that I know that they love, which there were one or two that I had to put back. But for the most part, that's all the books. Here are the toys that they are getting rid of and there are more books in there. I'm just gonna add the books that um, we're getting rid of to this box and then later on this week, I'll take them to Goodwill. When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. Now I'm gonna be putting together the kids' teacher's gifts and I'm gonna tell you now, I saw Tiffany Beeston's Instagram reel where she got these little pouches and these letters from Amazon and glued the teacher's initials on these pouches and when I saw that, I thought it was the perfect gift idea for teachers. So I ran to Amazon and I ordered the letters and the pouches. I do love giving practical gifts because they can use this in their teacher bag, they can use it for travel, for supplies, and I love that their initials are going to be on them and I just think it's 
so cute. So like I said, I saw it on Tiffany Beeston's Instagram reel and I believe she did a YouTube video on it. So I will leave it linked down below so that you can go and use her link to the Amazon page. But like I said, I literally copied the same thing. The pouches come in a bunch of different colors and I think the letters do too, but I just got the same color she got. Just gluing all the teacher's initials on each pouch and then I'm gonna put one or two things inside the pouch, stuff it with some um, tissue paper, and then once I'm done with that, I'll show you guys what else I'm putting in their bag. The next thing I'm adding are these cute little Christmas trees that actually light up once you add a battery to them. I got these from the Target Dollar Spot. Again, something super practical they can use in their classroom or in their home. And then the next thing are these cute little sticky notepads that they can plan out their day, their week. They can add their goals. I'm taking these out of the packaging. I got these from the Target Dollar Spot as well. Give thanks for this past year Oh, nothing compares to the love that we share Oh, what a bliss A green red delight With glimmering silver wine You dazzle us all from big to small Warm laughter and white smiles My presents stacked in pies Take me away Christmas Day Take me away Christmas Day It's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes Are coming true, that's why I cheer I've been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling when it's time so a lot of the teachers at the boys school, they're doing um, stockings for the entire classroom. So the teachers are buying these stockings for everybody in the classroom and the students are responsible for bringing in the stocking stuffers. So I went to the Bath and Body Works website and I found these sanitizers. I think these are the winter candy apple scents and I found these little fabric bags from the Target dollar spot for just a dollar. So I'm gonna put a sanitizer into each of these little baggies to make it a little bit more festive. I had a few left over, so I put one in each of the teacher's little pouches that I showed you guys earlier. And in case you guys didn't know, if you order a gift off of Amazon and you select the gift wrap or the gift bags, this is what they look like. They come in multiple sizes and a few different colors, and I love them because you can reuse them over and over again. I'm putting all the sanitizers in this little bag just for him to carry to school, and the teacher can either keep it or send it back home. So you, if you watched last week's video, you know that we redid our powder room here at the front of the house. It's one of my favorite projects we've done so far in this house and I am really, really loving it. I'm glad we went with that moody color. So I'm going to show you guys what it looked like before and then what it looks like now. Like I said, it's a moody 
color bathroom and I couldn't be more happy with it. I really love it. I did want something dark and moody and a little bit bold in here. Since it is a powder room, I feel like you can do that in a room like this. Like I said, I worked with the company called Lick and they make really good paint and wallpaper. And I love it. So if you guys wanna see the full process of this whole transformation, there's a link in my description box where it takes you to Lick's YouTube channel where I did a video of the whole makeover. You guys will really love that if you wanna see it. This tree is from Hobby Lobby. These two pictures, which I still have to clean. These two pictures are from Hobby Lobby as well. And I think they are so pretty. And they just hang from a little metal chain. I definitely wanted something with some kind of railing like this. I just put some little things in here that I already had. We kept the mirror and the lights the same. Hardware we kept, but we did change out our pedestal sink for this one. I like having the extra countertop space. That'll be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next one.